Hey everyone, I know I'm a week late on this video, but I've actually been out of the country and working on other projects. And as soon as I got back, I had to kind of get rolling on this, uh, this project that we were doing, a few friends and I did this past weekend, uh, where we did uh, for Extra Life, the, the charity Extra Life, um, a 24 hour live stream on Twitch, where we played RPG like tabletop RPGs for 24 hours straight um yeah so that was I I GM'd one of the the games and had to um learn the game that I chose to GM because I'd never even played it before uh but yeah it was it was a lot of fun and in the process, I had to create uh, kind of pre-generated characters for the different players and uh, kind of in, in the way that the game uh, handles uh, creating characters, it made me think about uh, creating characters in other mediums or just for stories in general. So, uh, you know, like when you are writing and you come across uh, some plot point where you need another character, uh, not one that has already been introduced, and you need to come up with somebody on the spot, and maybe you're, you're just thinking, oh, it's going to be kind of a throwaway character, I guess, or, or like, you know, they're really only there to move the plot forward. And, uh, you know, ultimately, you, you maybe you don't think too much about uh, who this character is or, um, you know, what they are like. Um, maybe you spend too much time on it. I don't know. Whatever it is. But you know the characters that I'm talking about. The, the ones where, you know... Maybe you just kind of glance by, they're not that important. Uh, and it, this this character creation process for the game, for the, the making the characters for the players, uh, the way that it was handled was a lot of fun for me because it, it gives you the option to do everything randomly. And this has just got my own gears spinning. Um, so if you're in that situation where you need to, to come up with a character, even somebody who is going to potentially, as far as you know, at the moment, not be super important to the story, uh, but you want to add a little bit of realism to it. They're not just, uh, yeah, that's random, you know, engineer number three or whatever, you know? Um, then follow this method, I guess. Basically, all the character traits, right? Start with the, the, the physical character traits. Um, and, and then kind of work your way into, uh, personality. And write down a list of... In, in every category, right? You're like uh, age, sex, uh, religion, uh, a birthplace, things like that. Uh, level of economic uh, resources, of, you know, when growing up. All these things that are would be uh, out of the character's control, we'll say. Um, upon birth and then just write a list of 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 any possibilities within each of those categories that would make sense to your story to the world that you are writing for um, and once you fill out all the possibilities and you've got this big list turn this list into a random 
table. Uh, go on Google, and I believe it's um, just random number generator, and it'll it'll be like one. You know, you type in one to the number of items on the list, and then hit generate, and it gives you a number, and then find that number on this list. Okay, that's the trait. Like that's the trait that that character has, and just do that all through the whole thing. When when I was making the characters for this game, of course I was rolling dice because the tables in this game rounded out nicely for ten sided die. So uh, you know that made it easier in that regard. But obviously we're not always making RPG characters when we're talking about making characters. So yes uh step two once you have all the physical traits start thinking about personality traits and this is where it gets a little bit tricky and where i would actually tell you to look at rpg tables for this because while some of them are a little bit off the wall and some of them are thematically uh specific you know like it the character personality trait might have magic and dragons and stuff in mind when they wrote it down on their table uh, and that may not exist in the world that you are making your character for uh, disregard those ones right just literally remove those from the options replace them with something else maybe even something kind of similar but uh, more fixed to the kind of world that your character is going to inhabit and go from there. Same thing, repeat the process. There's there's so many uh, personality traits and, and many of them are, are simple in these uh, RPG tables, right? So some of them it's, you know, uh, can't ever turn down a bet or always answers questions with, hmm things like that. And then once you have two, three, or four of these things, rank them as far as which one will be the most prominent, you know, prominently featured in their personality, and which ones will be least prominently featured in their personality. And then do the same thing in a sense like uh, with visual appearance, right? Or maybe even take those things into consideration uh, for their visual appearance, right? Like if if one of the randomly chosen uh, personality traits is always has to spend time keeping themselves clean or something along those lines, then maybe they're probably going to be pretty well-dressed or, you know, keeping themselves clean. They're not going to be covered in dirt all the time uh, because that wouldn't suit their personality. Um, and then move on to things like how kind are they or how um, truthful are they and don't necessarily think that that it's always good or bad right somebody can be somebody can be cruel and you might still feel that they are a a good character right um, a soldier who always does uh the the job right you know like oh, is always protecting people but is just cruel about it not towards the people that they're protecting or maybe they are uh but they are always protecting these people it's not necessarily a bad trait to be cruel in this sense if you kind of get what i'm saying um you know lies occasionally in order to deceive the villains of the story uh, in order to, you know, uh, fulfill the goals of the good guys may be a good and desirable trait. So keep that in mind as well. And then, um, you know, other, just kind of think about other personality traits that somebody would have and again make a list are they 
this or anti this and to what degree are they you know um and this simple randomly generated character for your story starts getting flushed out pretty quickly and it's it's something that i think once you once you have uh kind of gotten this down and and you do it enough times you get faster at it and you kind of don't need to have things written down anymore you can you can just think about it randomly in your head <laughs> if um and you you just become faster more efficient at making these random characters that don't necessarily matter except to move the plot forward a little bit but it creates uh, a sense of dimensionality to the world that your main characters inhabit i wouldn't necessarily say make your main characters randomly but side characters you know secondary characters tertiary characters um i think it's great for even ones that um maybe as you are writing a particular scene they don't move the plot forward so much you know they are somebody who something happens to as opposed to them acting on the world um still try it try it with some of them you may end up liking them as a character and and how they react to uh to the things around them and to the situation at hand and you may end up keeping them you may bump them up from totally insignificant character to you know i kind of like them i'm gonna i'm gonna use them for something um and i think that's very elevating to the story in general uh, a lot of the stories i like the most have a lot of that have these super minor characters that you see them grow or change and uh, you know become more and more integral to the plot uh, characters where you you think that they're an entirely just a throwaway character and then they turn out to be one of the main ones like one of the main characters that that's always good and and you can kind of see some uh, movies and tv shows try this to various degree, degrees of success um, because i think that we all kind of want that a little bit that sense of we can all you know rise up to the occasion or whatever um right so this is a short video i just kind of wanted to point out randomly generated characters not just for role-playing games but for any story that you are working on um and if you if you donated to the extra life campaign Thank you. If you watched, also thank you. Um, it was a lot of fun. We were all very, very tired. I assure you. <laughs> um, taking naps, you know, in like little three, four hour naps here and there. So, yeah. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.